Hello, this is Hakadabian, and I am here with SCP-1762, also known as Where the Dragons Went. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And if not, that's understandable. This is going to get very sad. Let's get into it. Item number SCP-1762 Object class Used to be safe, now it's neutralized. Special Containment Procedures SCP-1762-1 is held in a special containment unit at site blank during the periods when SCP-1762-1 releases SCP-1762-2 video logs are recorded for future research. Although instances of SCP-1762-2 have been deemed harmless, they should not be allowed to exit their containment unit. <sighs> Description SCP-1762-1 is a plain cardboard box that is 32 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 26 centimeters. It is spray painted silver on the interior and exterior, and the words Here Be Dragons are handwritten in black permanent marker on the lid of the container. Opening the lid of, of SCP-1762-1 when it is not in the process of a release reveals it to be empty. SCP-1762-1 will infrequently open and initiate a release of SCP-1762-2. During this time, the box will briefly emit a large amount of black smoke that quickly dissipates. It takes an average of 20 seconds for SCP-1762-2 to emerge after the smoke clears. SCP-1762-2 is a collective term applied to beings that emerge from SCP-1762-1. All instances of SCP-1762-2 bear resemblance to various types of dragons in both Eastern and Western depictions, albeit in forms similar to that of origami models. Analysis of SCP-1762-2 reveals that they are composed of kami paper. After exiting SCP-1762-1, instances of SCP-1762-2 will fly together in large groups and interact playfully with any nearby personnel and each other. <clears throat> SCP-1762-2 vary in length uh, from 9, 9 to 30 centimeters. All are capable of sustained flight once they exit SCP-1762-1 and have been recorded attaining speeds of 15 kilometers per hour. The number of SCP-1762-2 varies with each opening of SCP-1762-1 with numbers ranging from 50 to over 400. I'm going to start calling in, 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 a, in with up two counterpart dragons from here on. After approximately two to three hours of time spent outside of SCP-1762-1, all instances of dragons return and fly back into the box. During this time, the box will once again begin emitting smoke, and instances of the dragons will vanish after they're passing the rim of SCP-1762-1. SCP-1762-1 closes once all of the dragons have returned to it. The next day of release is inconsistent. <clears throat> a message written or carved into a a varying material will sometimes materialize on top of the box's lid once the box retrieves all instances of SCP uh, of the dragons. Attempts to send a message or recording device back with, with the dragons have provided negative results. These documents and their appropriate dates of appearance are compiled and recorded.
Addendum 1762-01 SCP-1762-1 began to undergo a series of events that lasted 11 months and 28 days. These events, as well as prior instances that led up to the beginning of the scenario, have now been classified under the title, The Jabberwocky Effect. <sighs> Obviously, these dates are not important, so I'm just going to skip these altogether and just read, read these. You have found us, thank you. Which is simply telling you this is the first note. You have found us, thank you. It has been so long since we last saw each other, our friends. The peace has been upheld. The giants and Emmett have kept their words and have not caused any trouble since the last came and gave the order. We miss your company. How has your family de been? Do you still know how to work at your room? You're welcome to visit any time. This is apparently the fourth note, obtained some time in 2004 after the first event. It's strange to see how much the world has changed. It is even stranger to see how we now appear in this place. In fantasy, we are much bigger. Or maybe you've grown taller. Fantasy is still the same. We hope you can visit us like you used to. Though our room is as grand as ever, it appears yours has shrunken. We do not understand. The rooms are supposed to be maintained, as was our as was our agreement. Please restore the belief. <sighs> Only twenty instances is on the sixth note appeared, and they did not lift off and instead walked slowly on foot for the whole period they were outside of the box. Friends, we apologize for a few numbers. We have had to remain in fancy for quite some time. The others are growing impatient. We are trying to keep the peace, but please, for all of our happiness, repair the room quickly. We know you are trying. Your family is most imaginative of us all. Along with ten instances of the dragons appearing, three balls of yellow crumpled construction paper were expelled from SCP from the box. These pieces were observed to shake violently for five seconds, then cease all further movement. They were picked up by the dragons and returned to the box. <sighs> the giants were foolish. Your room was not ready to accept them yet. We're sorry, friends. We hope that we can still see you, but time is growing short for our happiness. Five instances of dragons emerge, carrying a said document. They immediately return to the box after depositing it on the floor. This is a 15th note. Tensions are rising. Fantasy is becoming darker. We, the serpents and the hybrids, are furiously trying to hold them back, but the giants and elves wish to strike and make Make an entrance. They say your family has grown stupid and ignorant. We hope this is true. It would sadden us all greatly to know that you have forgotten. The 16th note. A single red ed dragon emerged from um, this box. Its wings were torn and it was noticeably crumpled. It collapsed onto the floor one minute later and did not move again. Upon its expiration, the body of this dragon rapidly unfolded and revealed a message written on the, the white side of the paper. War. Goodbye, friends. Two hours later, SCP-1762-1 
1761 opened and emitted flames that reached 2 meters in height and temperatures of 1700 degrees Celsius. Sounds of distant roaring were heard from within in the box. At, at 8 p.m., a large amount of torn paper pieces and paper balls were ejected from the box. Several damaged edged dragons were also expelled and were deemed deceased upon examination. The box contains is periodically open and closed for the next six weeks. There is time to continue to emit fire as the amount of paper discharged from it suddenly decreased. Matter or resembling muscle and tissue it was it continuously expelled from the box at increasing frequency. The box remained closed and inactive for the next seven months. Seventeenth note was obviously it, it obtained a, uh, at least seven months later. The document was discovered lying inside the interior of the box. It was written on parchment and many of the words were blurred or stained with blood. <sighs> Are you still out there, friends? We miss you dearly. Fancy is no longer safe. Our haven, your beautiful creation, is gone. The giants are dead. The centaurs are dead. The birds have fled. We are going to bury your room. We cannot risk hurting you. This is our goodbye. Maybe one day, your family can build another room. This may be a hollow hope, but we will cherish this thought. One hour later, the box began to shake and emit smoke for 15 minutes, after which it began to sag and collapse. Several portions of the box began to char and tear, creating small burn holes throughout. The words, here be dragons on the lid, were burned away. <sighs> this is the final document obtained from the box. It was written in ink on a papyrus scroll and also depicts a scene of painted mountainous landscapes filled with large trees and waterfalls. A large, a single winged dragon can be seen in the background and appears to be flying away. The message is written in black ink in the bottom right hand corner. <sighs> Master says that we won't see you again. We are sad. Sorry to remaining others. We once filled each other's heads with dreams and goals. It is so sad that we cannot share them any longer. Master says we have to go. He says that he will make us a new fantasy. He says that you cannot be a part of it. We are sad. We love you. We will not forget you. We are scared. Will you forget us? Upon removal of this document, salt water began to leak from the SCP and the burn marks that covered the container began to disappear. Three layers, three minutes later, the box had been restored to its original state. The words, here be dragons, are replaced with the words, here were dragons. The Javrocki event is declared concluded with this occurrence. Addendum 3. Since the end of the Javrocki event, SCP-1762-1 has shown no further anomalous properties and has been declared neutralized. SCP-1761-1 and three deceased instances of, S of the dragons now reside in researcher Yoshihira Otanaka's office for commemorative purposes. Addendum 4. After nearly eight years of inactivity, researcher Takana uh, could report SCP-1762-1 began emitting purple smoke and spontaneously opened at 11 p.m., falling to the floor. Then this large a single chunk of crystal, later identified as amethyst, and a large letter brown on the book. The contents of the book appeared to detail various species that once lived within the world. 
of SCP-1762-2. Now, from what the author has written, all organisms mentioned are likely extinct. The book is now classified as 1762-BOL-1. The amethyst crystal had the following words carved into it. One last time. After falling, SCP-1762-1 continuously emitted smoke for the next 40 minutes before ceasing all activity. Upon trying to pick up, up a box, Taka and Naka reported that the box proceeds to disintegrate upon touching it. Its remains are now kept in, in, container ca in a containment capsule in his office. Beasts of old letters. Oh dear, that is a lot. <sighs> I'm just going to expand all of these just to see how long this document gets. Unfortunately, I don't think I can read this. At least, not today. Maybe if I go one at a time. But I'm not going to be able to read this whole entire thing at once. Hmm. That will have to be... Um, Either a really long video, or I'm gonna have to separate it into multiple parts, like I did with um, 6500. Hmm. But for now, that is uh, it for this SCP. We can do a series about the book later. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't enjoy the video, then you wasted 18 minutes of your life listening to me talk about paper or dragons. That's on you. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.